Hello people of the web and YouTube, DTPK here, and welcome to Norman's Sky. Anyway guys, this is a weird game, it's kind of a space flight simulator, but in a pixel kind of format that's randomly generated, and what it basically boasts about is that you can fly your spaceship, and you can fly to any planet, any little pixel you see in the sky, you can basically fly to it, land on it, make it your own little world, but as of right now, I don't think there's an actual game kind of concept to this. I mean, right now it's just really annoying and you basically explore. That's basically all you do in the game right now, but I'm hoping to see them update this game in like the future maybe. Maybe add some um, colonization or something, something like that you can do. But as of right now, like I said, there's nothing you can really do except explore, land on the planets, and then take off and fly around again. But for right now, my main goal in today's video, considering there's nothing I can do here except fly, is I'm gonna try to find Earth, you know, or at least a planet very, very similar to Earth, and I think I'm pushing the key to going into light speed. Um, my bad if I am, but yeah, it's probably the best thing if I go into light speed right now, considering it would take us how many years to get to a planet otherwise, you know, but... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry if I said butt and whatever way too much this episode. I'm just... Bleh, I'm out of it, you know. I'm loopy right now. It's super light here, and I'm super tired, so forgive me. But yeah, right now, it looks like we're getting close to something. I'm just hoping it's not a sun. I mean, it's really white. There's a possibility it might be a sun. Who knows? Alrighty, you know what? I'm a little bit confused right now. Like, the whole light speed thing happening here. Like, in Star Wars, you'd be going so fast, you'd pass suns and you'd see them blur. That's what light speed is, you know? It's a blur of going so fast, faster than light. But at the speed I'm going, wouldn't I be passing the planets to be seeing light fly around like that? Or no? I honestly don't know, but it looks like we are getting closer to whatever the hell that thing is. I just hope it isn't a Death Star, and I'm hoping I don't get shot at. Which, actually, that'd be a pretty cool thing. Couldn't you imagine a Star Wars game being made like this? Like, procedurally generated enemies, planets, and everything. But yet to land on the planet, um, see a few movie references, and he colonized the planet or something. Wouldn't that be the coolest damn thing? I don't know, but anyway, I think we need to get out of light speed, considering... I'm kind of losing sight on whatever the heck it is right there. I don't know, I think I'm in sight of it now, so hopefully we'll either ram into it at light speed, or well, at least um, get close enough near it to where I can at least break and slow down. I don't really know. Alrighty, day 893, I'm nowhere near to getting to whatever the hell this thing is. Hopefully it's a planet, I really don't know. But I have a feeling I already passed like a dozen planets already, I'm not gonna lie, like... I think the planets are them little yellow things, let me see if I can slow down and show them to you. I think they're the little random yellow specks that are right there on the screen, see them? I think right now what I'm going towards right here is a galaxy maybe? It's obviously not a planet considering it, its size and everything. And considering it's like I'm not getting near it at all, I think I might have actually hit the boundaries of the universe. I, I really don't know, but hopefully we get near to it within the next 15 minutes. Because I am getting a little bit bored, I'm not going to lie. And flying through space and all is cool, don't get me wrong, but I want to land on something. I need to find a new home ASAP, you know. I want to find my planet, colonize it, um repopulate the world and then save humanity you know that's my goal here but at this rate we're all gonna die in space i'm sorry oh yeah now we're cooking with bacon we're almost about to hit this planet i think or whatever the heck it is if it's a planet it's really weird it looks like a whale is it a whale planet is it a splanet i, I don't know what it is but we're about to go past it aren't we slow down get out of light speed slow down slow down Anyway, it looks like a moon or something. This doesn't look like a planet. I mean, it looks like there'd be no oxygen here. How am I supposed to live and repopulate the world, you know? Can't really do it if there is no world and no grass, no oxygen and things. That'd, that'd be suicide otherwise. But yeah. Anyway, another cool thing I want to mention about this game, guys, before I forget, is if you actually get close enough to a celestial body, you can actually hit the light speed break and 
it will actually orbit you around the planet if you time it right, which I think is really cool considering the limitation this game has on it for being nothing but pixels. I think that's a really cool feature. Like, it's a little bit hard to land though, I mean I was playing this in my free time if you can't tell, and I gotta say, landing is the hard part. Like, you can't tell if you're close to the ground, and you can't tell if you're about to hit the, the planet and just bounce off, you know? And as of right now, there is no, um, fall damage or anything, so you can hit the planet as hard as you want and not die. But, yeah, like, I don't think this is a planet I'm actually on, is it? Yeah, there's no atmosphere. Damn it. All that work and I travel to a distant moon. Like, really, come on. I want some place with life, man. I want some trees. I want some, um, things growing. I want an atmosphere. This home just won't suit, you know? I had to torch this place and move on. That, that place is just not good. I'm sorry. Alrighty, bros, I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. I think I finally found a planet that you can actually live on, but the sad part is it's like... It's like millions of miles away and it keeps phasing in and out of reality. Like, I have a feeling all the white bodies are suns or moons and the... Uh, color bits that you see kind of floating around on the screen right now... Are actually the planets I can travel to, you know? Right now, I think I kind of messed up badly by going all that way to land on something that doesn't have life. So I don't really know if I'm going to get to the next place in my time limit. Because I don't have very long to play tonight, sadly. But I'm hoping I can at least find something cool in this game to maybe do. I mean, I know there's nothing to do in the game besides explore. But it's, that's like the whole reason why I decided to play it today, you know? I wanted to chill sit back, play a game, not really have to care, and just find things, you know, find playing, let's make my own story up, and that just grew into two pixels, I see that game, what is it, tell me now, please, because I want to know if I can land on it, if I can't land on it, and I made this trip for no reason, I'm going to be really, and I mean really, really mad, you know, considering I've been flying for five minutes, maybe, straight? I honestly don't know, I've been flying forever, like, I don't even know if you can call this flying, I mean, look at it, like, I'm more or less just drifting at this point, like, I didn't even get out of light speed and I'm doing barrel rolls, I don't even know how I'm doing that, but if the game lets me do it, then I'll do it. Well, bros, it's been about 10 years, I grew, shaved, then grown another beard, then shaved it again in the amount of time that it took me to get to this planet. But I think I've finally found a planet I can live on. I mean, just look at it, it's green. It's kind of in the shadow right now, but don't judge it. I have a feeling this is the one right here. This looks like I might be able to land on it. And it also looks like there might be enough room to at least um, move around on it. Considering it looks like a pretty decent sized planet the closer and closer I get to it. Yeah, it's like it's getting twice in size, ain't it? I'm just afraid I'm gonna overshoot it, you know? Like, I found out if you hit the shift key, go into light speed, let go of it, he'll continue going in light speed. He doesn't just stop once you let go, which is kind of sad, but on the bright side, I think it's kind of a good thing, considering the noise this spaceship makes is really, really annoying. I'm sorry if you guys don't hear it. I'm probably gonna cut most of this nonsense out with the sound. But yeah, this is a cool game though, don't get me wrong. Besides the sound, this is really fun actually. Like, they need to make a story on this. Like, ASAP, you know, like, they should have it explored one out of 500 planets, you know, and then every time you find a planet, you get a trophy. Then this would be a good game, you know, this would be almost worth buying if you're into retro games. But yeah, without a story, this just isn't worth buying, I guess. I mean, it's still really cool though. And I think I'm about to crash into you, aren't I? And you actually have an atmosphere, don't you? I hope. I, I hope you do. I want to find at least one habitable planet. And I want to find a good... Oh, am I landing? I think I landed. I don't know how I did that. I just kind of like swan dived in and then I went poof. Like perfect landing. But on the bad side, this ain't a planet that's survivable. Unfortunately, I know what the survivable planets look like. This isn't one of them. Because I played it earlier, I landed on one. It had an atmosphere, it was green, and it looked really pretty and awesome. 
And I'm sad to say this, but I just couldn't find a habitable planet today and I'm all out of time. But I still hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Because I definitely sure had a lot of fun with this. I don't know if my commentary came out good. But this game is really cool and I hope they kind of improve upon it. Because the whole idea it has going on with pixel based, infinitely random generated planets that you can actually reach. That's really freaking cool and well... Yeah, enough gushing over the game. I'm gonna leave the video off here, guys. DTBK signing off. Peace. I honestly want to know, like, how can you beat somebody with a gun? How? And he's still shooting at me, dude. I get Why did my shovel turn her into Minecraft blocks? Why is any of this a thing?